in today's session of Divorce Court. Rosalie Fonda was a wild teen who thought marrying Tommy would keep her out of trouble. I was 14, he was 24. 14 and 24. He's a dog, capital D, it's not the chihuahua type, it's the big German chef. Why are you messing with a child? This was a 14 year old. It wasn't like that. You the only one standing before me today and I want to talk about Mr. Fonda. Don't keep trying to push it off on John, Joe and Harry. Okay. You in front of my face, talk to me. He cheated on me with Two of my best friends tried to sleep with my mother, slept with my brother's wife, which broke up his marriage. You should see her mother. Her mother is ugly. <laughs> but you know what? He that is rude. Today, Rosalie Fonda hopes to break from the man who stole her youth as she faces Tommy Fonda in divorce court. now in session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is a matter of Tommy Fonda versus Rosalie Fonda. Mrs. Fonda, I am advised that after 11 years of marriage, you want a divorce. Why? Because at 14 years old, I, I was in trouble with the law. I was like in and out of juvenile detention centers. So I just, and the judge told me half jokingly, the only way for me to get out of trouble is if I got married. He said, because I'd get emancipated. Marriage gets you out of trouble? Well, I'd, <laughs> I'd be legally emancipated and be on my own. So I got married to that. You're going to call the man that kept you from getting in trouble and kept you from going to juvenile hall of that? Yes, ma'am, because I'm not finished with my story. I'm, when, when you figure out the whole story, you'll be saying the same thing. All anyway, right. so he marries me. He's security where we live. I was 14, he was 24. Not only is he a pervert, he's a dog, because he cheated on me with two of my best friends, tried to sleep with my mother, slept with my brother's wife, which broke up his marriage. We didn't know if he was going to be the father of her baby. Yeah. So when I, um, one of the incidents, Your Honor. Uh, when do I get to say something? <laughs> <laughs> I'm no, holding hey. my breath. <laughs> Woo, he's, that was a lot. He's a dog, capital D. It's not the Chihuahua type. It's the big German Shepherd. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Fonda, she just gave us a mouthful about you. That's all it's about, Yana. You had two her two best friends. You had a relationship with? No, no, ma'am. He's such a liar. What about her mother? You said she he tried to sleep with your mother. He told me that he slept with my mother. Not tried. He slept with her. Let me ask you this. It started out, which was a big bang for me, 14 and 24. Yes, ma'am, pervert. I understand. <laughs> Why would you call him a pervert? We were dating before, before my mother even asked him. He, we he, weren't dating. We Your weren't Honor. dating, Your Honor. He's lying. We were she dating. Lied. Explain we that to me, Mrs. Uh -oh. We were sleeping together before we got no. married. And then when we got married, Tell the we truth. were sleeping together. <laughs> Tell the, the truth. truth. Why don't Mrs. you tell Fonda, the truth? What, what you're saying is that as a child, 14, you were sneaking out the house. No. She was no. sneaking out the house before me, Your Honor. She was sleeping with him. How did you start sleeping child. with him if you weren't sleeping? I was she was sleeping it was, around. It was it was during like the afternoon and stuff like that. He get off. He was off work she and lied. he took me to the movies before we got married. We went to the drive. He took me to dinner. Did we doing anything? He bought me, yes, yes. Why are you messing with a child? We weren't sleeping together, Your Honor. I'm telling you, Your Honor. Why are you keeping her at your apartment, Mr. Fonda? Because of the arrangement we had made. What arrangement? About in order for her not to be in trouble. No, no, no. I'm talking about before the arrangement with her mother. Mrs. Fonda said that she spent a many afternoons at your apartment she after school. She broke into my apartment, Your Honor. So why didn't you have her arrested? It, it weren't like that. She broke she used to, it was funny. No, no, she used to break on, in my apartment and steal her and her so friends. Why so why didn't you have her arrested? <clears throat> I don't know. Because he was sleeping Because, with Mr. Me. Fonda, you were not accepting your responsibility as an adult. Don't stand here now and try to pretend like it was just an arrangement was and she was sleeping around with everybody. Even if she was, this was a child, a 13-year-old, a 14-year-old, who is not as mature as you, who doesn't understand what she's doing, yeah, who is true. just excited about her little body, but you're older. It was an incumbent upon you as a security guard for the building, a man entrusted with confidence and the trust of the management not to go after their little girls 
and not to mess with them. It was incumbent upon you, even if you found her in your house. Even if I she never broke found in, her. you she said. She was always out before I got there. She, her and her friend was taking my food up out of the house. And Mr. Fonda, it was incumbent <laughs> upon you at that point, and you're laughing about it now, and I'm you serious. know what? I'm it serious. is a shame, because you still think it's funny. It's not funny. Can I tell my side? Now, if you had a 13-year-old, and she was running over to a man's house, doing whatever, breaking in, sneaking in, getting in, and wouldn't you expect that that man would come and tell you as an adult to try to take care of your child as opposed to taking advantage? I mean, it wasn't like that. I was the only one messing with her. She don't was don't keep telling me about the only one because you're the only one standing before me today and I want to talk about Mr. Fonda. Don't keep trying to push it off on John, Joe, and Harry. Okay. You're in front of my face. Talk to me. I told you, Your Honor, the whole arrangement. Me and her were not sleeping together before we got married. You know what, Mr. Fonda? You trying to tell me you married this woman just for convenience. At the time, it was. No. At the time, okay, it no. was. You At know what beginning. was going on? Because you keep saying everybody had her. She was having sex with everybody. What you did, what you did was took advantage of the fact that there was a little fast girl over here who needed some guidance and some direction and some fatherly love and somebody to say to her, you're doing the wrong thing, do it differently, stop running around with everybody else, stop having sex with everybody else. Instead, you just became a part of the group. No, I didn't. I changed her life, Your Honor. Your Honor. She was out there. Your mm -hmm. Honor. She was out there in the road, and he I put a stop such a to liar. all So you put a stop to it? I put a Be stop to How all did you do that? Because I took it in, I told it. I told her that it weren't going to happen no more. Because she you were my husband running. She by was law. Running, so what you're saying is around. once you married her, you made her an honorable woman. Because yes. you were sleeping you know with that. me. Because you were you sleeping woman. with me. Well, Mrs. Fonda, once he married you, once he married you, regardless of the fact that it was an arrangement, and regardless of the fact that I find it really distasteful to me personally, but if the law permits it, your mother permitted it, Yes, he married you. Yes, ma'am. He is your husband. Yes, ma'am. At that point, he can have sex with you, Mrs. Fonda. Yes, ma'am. That's that's true. That's that's all true. That's but the incident mean. he was talking about. No, but he's saying that he when, once he married you, he slowed you down and made you an honorable woman and while stopped he was you still from out, going around. he was that's out right. cheating, didn't Which come home. True. At 14 years old, I'm sitting at the house all by myself because my husband is out till 6, 7 o'clock in the morning with all his friends, and he can't sit there in line and say, I didn't sit by the window some nights looking at my watch waiting for him to come home. Like I said. And I still stayed with him and stayed with him. After all the stuff he put me through, I stayed with like him. Like what? Cheat I, when I, I didn't no find proof. out to the end that he cheated on me, but this no man proof. used to make me sleep on the floor. When he used to get mad at me, I used to sleep on the floor. He put me on the floor. I had to sleep there. And if he got mad enough, he'd dump water on me. And I couldn't leave out the room because She's he would lock the So then the you door. became his footstool. She's yeah, but life. see, he was very possessive. When Divorce Court returns, Tommy responds to accusations he slept with Rosalie's mother. What about her mother? You should see her mother. Her mother is ugly. <laughs> that is rude. And Tommy's witness takes the stand. If you would like to have the judge hear your case in divorce court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. Divorce Court is back in the case of Rosalie Fonda, who says she married Tommy when she was 14 to stay out of trouble. What's this about the best friends? Her friends? Yeah. There's a R, initial R, initial S, the one that lived she next to us. She ain't got no proof. Yeah. Well, you know what? Okay, she doesn't have proof. I'm asking you. I didn't have no... no. That's not, why I left him. Nothing. That's no, why so I left him. So you deny all of that? I deny What about her mother? You should see her mother. Her mother is ugly. <laughs> but you know what? He's that still a dog rude. to try to sleep with her. He's still a dog to you try to sleep with well, her. Well, you know what? She, you know what? She I mean, overweight and she ugly. So what? What does that prove? Because you think she's well, ugly. She was overlapped and she didn't look he, right to he her. He still just slept like with my... Well, I, she was a child. Just like the reason I want, I didn't want to be with her no more because she had overlapped it. Oh, what okay. is overlapping? What are you talking about? Gain weight. Gain she was, she weight. She was slim at the time. Oh, you and are. Like, look, but you didn't want to be with her anyway. You just, okay, it was just you, an arrangement. Did you hear what she said about I was out to six and st five in the morning? That means I went there to sleep with her. Yeah, no, I was that with doesn't my mean friends. that. You could come home I and did see. it That's every right. night, then. She knows. No, not I was every with my night. Friend. 
Okay, hold up, Your Honor. With my this is a he, sick he's got issue. To admit that this is his a sick brother, I kept, I kept his brother's girlfriend's kids, she lying. kids at 14 years she old. Lying. I babysat them for the full week. Whew. She a big What is the world all come? The Mr. Fonda? She was I, a big You lie. don't have any children, do you? Nope. No, I still got custody of my two nephews. I you don't have we any girls, have do you? custody of our you two nephews. I just don't live Lux. there anymore. You don't help he won't them, even you let don't me take see care them. of them. I raised this 13-year-old. Right, I, I can't deal with that. You, you, you don't need custody of them. So if you don't have them, you're doing yourself a favor. You really don't need them. You're still a child still. Well, I'm, I'm 25 now. I don't care. You lost your childhood, so you're just yeah. not getting there. True. You missed some years. That's true, So you need to take care of... Miss Fonda, that's what I'm that's trying to do. That's a big enough job. You don't need your nephews, his nephews, children, or anything else. But you need to deal him. with all those other issues. Him. Who's this gentleman, Mike, that you keep pointing to? That's a friend of mine, Mike. He know about it. He knows she's a Mike, big Mike, what liar. you have to say? Come forward. Explain to me. You're his friend. How can a 24-year-old man want to be married to a 14-year-old girl? When the mama knew that she couldn't do anything with it, and she knew the state was going to commit her, her mother Went went south and her come to him. Her mother turned her back on him. And yeah, her mama so turned her back on him. So you call yourself doing her a favor? Is that what you're telling her me? Her mother turned her back. She didn't want nothing to do with her because she thought she slept with her with her husband. Now he made oh, her a better person. This is the saddest situation. All right. Her mother he didn't want to tell him. You know what? He's such good friends okay. with my mother. He agrees to marry a 14 year old without sleeping with her. He made her a better person. That just makes you. sense. No, have a seat. It's 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 just a sad situation. It's sad. I look back on it and I, I you know, I was. But you know what? You can't. I get, can't change it now. And I you can't. can't get really mad at anybody. Except for him cheating on me after we did decide to, you know, after he's saying we decided to stay married, right. which we were already married. What can married. I do for you today, Mrs. Fonda, Mr. Fonda? What I want to do is uh, about a year and three months ago. After he cheated on me. She led me to believe that we was getting back together, y'all. After I left. Him. And, uh, Mrs. Fonda, let him finish, please. I, I was sending her money every week, and she was, she was telling me that she was going to come home in November. <laughs> I bought her a ring in, in August, and uh, I was going to give it to her in September. I was trying to get her to come home in September, and uh, she wouldn't. She said she will be home at, on Thanksgiving. So and she kept telling me to bring the ring, bring the ring, bring the ring. I said, so I finally gave in. Three, three weeks before Thanksgiving, I, I took the ring up there to her. And then two weeks before I got ready to, I mean, so a week before I got ready to pick her up and bring her home, she had her boyfriend, which she got his name Oscar, tattooed his, on her neck. My O S C A R. You got a new boyfriend. Yeah, because I had to get rid of him because he cheated and on he me. Wasn't on, good hold up. He cheated. He cheated he on me. He's in jail now. So he well, wasn't. Well, no, we're not even going to so bring what, what him up. What happened to the ring? The ring I thought was from a jewelry store, it was actually from a pawn shop. He knows how hard I am with rings. And the diamonds had came out of the ring, so I had just... And then when I found out it was from a pawn shop and all this stuff, I just threw it away. I didn't want nothing... I didn't want nothing... I didn't want nothing about it. What it sounds like to me is, in, in this relationship... She was still having sex with me while she was with him. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> is that right? Yes, ma'am. She ain't no good. So you're she still married no to your husband? husband? I was still married to him. And But you got another man on the side. Well, we were, we were separated. I had left him. But while but you're, you're separated from your husband, you meet another man. Yes. And then you you <laughs> promise him and act like he's the one and only, and you're sneaking out with your husband. No, still. I told I told my boyfriend at the time about him, cause I wasn't sleeping with my boyfriend at the time. We had just got together. Oh, I was sleeping with big him. Liar. <laughs> big liar. Oh, it's just too much sleeping around for me. I was sleeping with him at the time. Maybe we need to just stop all these beds <laughs> and just get rid of all the beds in the world. Just so much sleeping around. <laughs> it's not funny. I know, it man. It really is not. Funny at all. When divorce court returns, the judge renders her verdict. You know good and darn well that you were interested in this woman's body and that you were going to have sex with her. And an update on the case of Anita Reeves versus Shula Reeves. Your husband is running around with another woman and she's becoming your best girlfriend. Maybe you were trying to get them to become friends and then you guys could have a menage a trois between the three of you. Is that what you were trying to do? Divorce court is back and the verdict is in. In the case of Rosalie Fonda, who says she regrets getting married at age 14 to 24-year-old Tommy Fonda. I am not convinced that either one of you were committed in this relationship and knew what the word commitment meant then, and you probably still don't know. But I invite you to pick up Webster's Dictionary and read it. Mrs. Fonda, unfortunately, you were a victim of our society as a young girl. 
needed some direction, lost out there. Your mother and your stepfather, you said, having problems. Such a typical problem in our society, unfortunately. Instead of turning to someone who was loving and caring and who could give you some direction, you did what so many young girls do when they're not getting the love and attention they need at home, and you turn to the arms of some man, and you think if you open your legs and start having sex, that that's gonna make everything all right. That's not the answer. That is not the answer. Marrying out. somebody to keep from going and being a part of the state system, that's not the answer. That's not what marriage is. Mr. Fonda, you doing that because it's an arrangement, and her mother asked. You were old enough to know better. You understand what marriage is. And don't stand here now and try to play innocent and say it was just an arrangement and I did it as the Good Samaritan to do her a favor. You know good and darn well that you were interested in this woman's body and that you were going to have sex with her. You know you didn't ever intend to sit there and abstain from sexual desires with a 14-year-old. Don't even try to pretend it and try to make me think so, because so I won't buy it. So you before we had sex. That's what I just said. She was 15 something. No. Oh, so you and some Mr. before we Bo had. Mr. Finder, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> See, you weren't just doing a favor, but your attitude was, since she's incorrigible, since her mother doesn't want her, she's easy prey. If I have sex with her, if I do anything with her, big deal. Because she's not the upstanding, wonderful young lady that everybody else is. So who cares? That was your attitude toward this young lady. That's why it was so easy for you to be one of those persons that you keep talking about. Because all you keep saying is, I wasn't the only one. So I wasn't the and only one that. means that you were a part of it. No, you can't say a word. You need to get some controls of yourself because there's something going on in your head that would allow you to even think about. That's abnormal to even think about having sexual desires with a 13, a 14, a 15 year old when you're 24 and older. That's not normal. You need to do something with yourself and about that too. I don't care if everybody else is doing it. You don't have to be the one that participates in that. The order of this court is that your request for a return of the diamond ring is denied and the court's adjourned. When Divorce Court returns, an update on the case of Anita Reeves versus Shula Reeves. You found the other woman's pants in your closet? Your Honor, there were very large sweatpants. It wasn't her pants. What, did she go out with no pants on, Your Honor? <laughs>